I've been asked by a Norwegian friend of mine, uh, Andreas Moss, um, to respond to uh, the overall critique of reality raised by people like Schopenhauer, um, or allegedly, I guess, raised by people like Schopenhauer, the Buddha, um, Camus, uh, Heidegger, um, Thomas Ligotti, that sort of thing, and of course, the Norwegian Peter Vessel Sopfe, Zapfe. Um, I apologize to anyone who actually is kind of fed up with this sort of thing, but um, existential questions of this nature fascinate me more than I can possibly explain to anyone. So, this is a specialized sort of video. I'm trying to avoid retracing my steps and um, to go back into the debate that I engaged in about a year ago. Um, but of course, um, one's position develops as one's life develops. And this is sort of an update, I guess, on my musings um, when it comes to existential issues. We have this concept that we seem to rely upon in our ethical system, um, evil. We seem to think that we know what evil is. <clears throat> a lot of people have said that they don't believe in the optimistic sort of view of life. Um, that's stereotypically peddled by, say, the really optimistic um, God is love type Christianity, uh, simply because there's too much evidence that there's a lot of bad things in the world. Um, if there's a loving God who wants everything to be wonderful, um, why do hellish things keep happening? Why, is, why was there a holocaust and a Hitler? Why was there a Fukushima tsunami? Why, was, um, why are there the equivalent of Hannibal Lecter's in this world? Um, why is there cancer? Why are there all kinds of other awful things that we generally put under the rubric of evil? <clears throat> the problem of evil, goes this argument, is what debunks the idea of a kind universe. Okay, I agree with that. But the Ligottis and the Zopfes and the uh, various people of that ilk seem to have gone the other way. They seem to have said that evil has won in this plane of existence, uh, that we've stared it in the face, and it's there's a certain inevitability about evil that I guess we'd say good doesn't have, which is just the mirror image of the um, view that, the Christian view, I guess you'd colloquially call it, that evil is an illusion, that it has no staying power, that good has a certain oomph to it that will inevitably see it triumph over evil conclusively. <coughs> I tend to see these sorts of things as two sides of the same coin simply because everything that has any good in it has the seed of evil in it, of course. Um, and, uh, you know, the reverse is also true when we say that um, the uh, every cloud has a silver lining. Um, now, that, now, a cloud having a silver lining, though, doesn't imply that the cloud is nothing but silver, of course. And uh, saying that everything that's good has the seed of evil in it doesn't mean that everything is evil just means that you, it seems to be un, unavoidable that we have both of these. Now, <clears throat> the problem with evil that I have is that it's just a vague and undefined thing, and it's best illustrated in fiction or in poetry or some other form of art, because we can't actually bring it across unless we use the intuitive side, the same thing as we need to use to... Um, come across good. We need the intuitive. You listen to Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, Fourth Movement, and you're, to some people, you're as close as you can get in this life to the beatific vision staring into the face of God that you simply won't get by reading St. Thomas Aquinas or whatever. Um, you have to be spoken to in a sort of sublogical way to understand the absolute good, because you can't really define it or come to grips with it in a way that allows you to 
analyze it. Evil has the same weakness, I guess we would call it. We can't really say what it is. We can't talk about it logically. We can't talk about it dialectically. It doesn't work like that, or it doesn't seem to work like that. I've just noticed that my color keeps changing. I do apologize for the way my camera is going. I think the sun is switching its position in the sky. There's a window right behind my camera here. Anyway, um, <clears throat> we can't really come to grips with evil either. Um, so I think that it's equally unreasonable to say that um, evil is going to win, or that the bad side is going to win, or that horror or harm or suffering or whatever is going to have any sort of greater staying power than good either. Um, I guess my challenge is show me some evil. Um, don't show me things that we sort of can instinctively see as evil. Um, show me some actual evil. Is there evil in the world? It's taken for granted by the Legatis and the Zophes that perhaps maybe not evil but horror is real or that um, that suffering or anxiety or panic or terror or any of these things are real show me some of these show me some of this essence of this stuff that you call it um, I don't think you can you can show me examples that we sort of intuitively understand to be evil, but can we really say that that's evil, or is it just an occurrence that is taking place that the person involved in that occurrence finds undesirable? Undesirable and evil are not the same thing. Um, I might consider it an evil act to be, say, have my house broken into this very minute by Alex and his three droogs and they beat me senseless and um, destroy my house and I end up in a wheelchair for life. I might think that that's an evil act. But is it is it phenomenally evil? Um, first of all, why did they do it? What were their motives? Um, I'm not saying that their motives were good, but their motives might simply be inherent in their very being and they're neither good nor evil you can't something can't be evil in its own essence uh, any more than anything can be good in its own essence because evil implies responsibility uh, and the ability not to be evil whereas if your essence is just to behave like this then you're not an evil thing at all you're simply acting according to your own nature um, <clears throat> but still I'm going to think that these people are evil because what will have happened to me ie traumatized permanently disabled, etc. wasn't nice. I didn't like what happened. I don't want that to have happened to me. But probably somewhere in the world, that is happening this very minute. Somebody is being reduced to this. Why don't I feel the same way about that person I've never met being traumatized and disabled and destroyed, I guess, in that way as I would if it happened to me? because it's not as undesirable as when it happens to me. And I don't expect someone in um, Turkmenistan to see it happening to me any different than I would see it happening to him. Um, maybe he might read about it in, on the internet that this guy in Canada was brutalized and disabled and permanently warped or maimed or whatever, but he would just look at that and say, well, that was an occurrence, wasn't it? Um, and I might read about him and think the same way. I won't see evidence of, I guess, evil in the same way uh, as when it actually happens to me. It, it just doesn't have the same oomph. Now, of course, one could take the guilt uh, uh, angle, saying that it should feel that way, and because it doesn't, I'm morally remiss. Well, that's another entire video here. Um, I think people who are familiar with my videos know how, what I think of guilt. I think that uh, guilt is coercion, and, an, and a good act that uh, takes place as the result of a guilty conscience is not a good act any more than um, having a gun pointed at my head um, and being ordered to do something good makes me a good person. <laughs> I, uh, I'm coerced. I don't have the choice. So, um, I'm not sure that evil even exists. Uh, I think that I think that I believe, or that I hold that, or I've concluded that, or whatever, uh, at this point in time I 
think that. Good doesn't exist. Okay, that's fine. Um, and I think that the Zopfes and the Ligotis and all those people would agree to me up to a certain point. But does evil exist? Well, they don't seem to question that, that base assumption that evil exists. I want them to tell me or show me how it does exist, non-rhetorically, non-intuitively, uh, without just calling me a horrible person because I don't just take it for granted and then I want it to justify itself. Um, I don't think that horror exists any more than bliss exists. I don't think that uh, evil exists any more than good exists. I don't think that injustice exists any more than justice exists. I don't believe uh, in any of these sorts of things, um, for the purposes of this debate, I suppose. Um, <clears throat> so again, I would just like to see these people, or those who subscribe to these points of view, explain to me what they mean by these things, um, to define them. They're just as woolly, they're just as vague, and just as slippery, and ultimately just as untenable as their opposites.